Oh, you're about to find out. And if you were asking yourself, do I look like Minakai standing next to him? Well, <laughs> yeah, that is not a camera trick. <laughs> Let's get it. Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Andrew Jacks here. And uh, guess what? It's 8, 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, by the kill legs, which is very unusual. Kai said, Andrew, we have to do legs today, 8 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning. Now, I had my two phones on alarm, had my girl's phone on alarm, had my wristwatch on alarm, and everything rang the same time, and the way I jumped out of bed was very unusual. While I was enjoying the cuddling, that's early morning cuddling. Oof. Oof. But we have to work. Work it is. We have to work. So uh, go here. Had a good coffee. Feeling good. It's been years since I had. Yeah, yeah, he's on his way. No problem. He's good even. <laughs> I'm just warming up. It's been about two two and three years two two it's been what like two years i think so yeah since the last train fasted which was my normal routine before i switched to bodybuilding so i'm starting to feel the vibe again now which is good so um kai said he'll be here 8 30 but he's black black it's in our dna to be late it's now a DNA, so yeah. 8.13 now, 8.45, he'll be here. So waiting. So uh, yeah, I'll just do some warm-up until he comes, because sky is crazy. Who does legs 8 o'clock in the morning, especially if you're in Dubai? No one does legs 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good way to kickstart the day, especially because we have the expo. And we'll be we'll be heading off to the expo at 12 noon. So it's good to it's good to have that short, quick, early training session. You know, to look good and feel good. So yeah, lots of outlets in town. We're keeping you guys posted on more stuffs coming up. Yes, sir. But all you have to do is just one thing: subscribe. What's up, y'all? It's your boy K with the AKA Mr. Getting It Done. We're here at Binos One Gym, and I am joined by none other than the golden dumbbell king himself. You know who he is. You know him. You love him. I'm yes, talking about sir. none other than Andrew Jack, <laughs> king of the, this uh, mountain over here. Real talk. <laughs> Brother, gym, how yeah. you feeling? Oh, I feel good. I feel excited to uh, be back in school, ah. get some knowledge oh, shit. from one of the greatest. Ah, for crazy. me, for crazy. me, for crazy. me. Crazy. For me. Well, we about to train some legs today. How do you feel about that? Amazing. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, like no one you can't no one can wake me up at eight o'clock in the morning in Dubai. Uh oh. 
to come train. Uh -oh. Not even to come train, but to come train legs. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> You're, it's a no-no. I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. But, 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 <laughs> there are just a very few selected people that I, I can't say no. Instead, it's a, it's, it's an opportunity to grasp onto because you never know when it's, it will come back again. Last time we had something was 2021 oh, back in Florida. Oh. So it took what about, about 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 two years to have another one. So I'm hanging on to this one. I will hang on tight to this one. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll have a good time. And technically, I hope we don't disappoint you. We are going to try to do some legs today. I feel yeah. really good about that. I'm glad yeah. you were so kind to be ready to do this with us. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you want to shout out? Anybody you want to? Uh oh. Uh oh. I want to shout out. Oh. Don't Kai don't Green. Mind. Don't yo, what? I want to shout out to Kai Green and Adam. Uh oh. Oh, shit. What's up, man? What's up, what's, what's good, you brother? Doing, bro? I yes. Yeah, it's been a what's million up, years, man. What's up, what's up, what's up brother? You're you good, bro. You're good, sir. Hey, how you doing, brother? Respect. What's up, Andre? Good to see you, man. Respect. He's still sleepy. <laughs> good news. Good news. Yeah. Someone is missing. Uh oh. Yeah. Tiny. I don't what? Know what bed? Oh, no, over at the uh, muscle show. At the muscle oh, show. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So those are those those, those are the uh, people I want to like shout out to him. He said. And Adam, he's one of the founders of Andrew Jack. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the founders of Andrew Jack. He said Jets. the founders. He's one of the founders. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, just the three of them. They yeah. found Andrew Jack, yeah. 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 That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That yeah. was perfect. That was good timing. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Y'all couldn't have planned that any better than that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I'm well, for, on I'm, that note, yeah. you ready to trade some legs? Yes, sir. All right, well, let's do it then. If you didn't know, you about to find out. And if you were asking yourself, do I look like Minakai standing next to him? Well, <laughs> Yeah, that is not a camera trick. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> no one has broken the record until now. Wait, wait. What did you do? 150, the golden dumbbells in Gold's Gym. You did it. You did. You I did. Uh, Big Boy and Carly. Carly did two reps. Big Boy of Trent Cartel did 10 reps. And then he called me out. And Larry said, hey, you don't know who, who you're messing with. I went over there and I did 12 reps. And I'm like, I'll stop here. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's still there. Uh, the golden dumbbell, the uh, three three thirty pounds dumbbell. Wow. Yeah. Doing what? Rowing. Rowing. Yeah, row. Each one is three thirty pounds. Yeah, golden dumbbell. Yeah, I trained everything. I trained everything. Yeah, I feel more energized even. You know what I mean? Yeah, because for me, I have a very slow metabolism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I have food, it takes me about four to five hours before it goes down. Okay. So that yeah, but if I'm empty, woo, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So let's do this. Let's open up with a series of movements. Yeah, yeah. Um, personally, I like to start with a hip abduction. Sure. And that's it. Have one over here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Let me ask you. Yeah. Shit, you're the IFBB pro. <laughs> Show me how you do your your, your hip abduction. <clears throat> nice. Two. Four. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Twenty and twenty, and we'll start feeling this thing, and we'll start opening it up. Yeah. Two. Let's go. Three. Yep. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good oh, shit. Good oh, shit. 17, 19, 20. 20. This is three, this is oh, three or four? Uh, I think three. Yeah. Yes, yes! Go. Oh. Two, no. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Twenty. All right. So, I want to add something to this now, right? Cool, awesome, yeah. Kick, kick back. Kick back. <laughs> yeah, but we don't, uh, but we don't go too far. Yeah, yeah. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna come back. Okay. But we want to get, we want to throw this kick back in and uh, This is good. Takes up the pressure on the lower back. It's actually good. You want to try? All right. If you want to do it, I'll do it. I think it's pretty good. You like this one? Yeah, yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, yeah. man. Let's get it. Seven. Eight. Nine. How was it? Uh, Out of 10. In terms of effectiveness. Can we try... Can I share with you? Let me show you this shit. You want to go the old school way with the... Yeah, off the floor. And you kick. On the... Okay, question. I know it looks kind of weird. No, it's not weird. But there's, a, yeah. there's an addition that this thing helps you get yeah. that that doesn't. Gave. You know what I mean? Yeah. It forces your hamstring to work yeah. more to stabilize this thing on your, to stabilize this foot on your, to stabilize this padding on, your foot. on the bottom of your foot yeah. that makes your hamstring work a little bit more. Yeah. Then I actually feel alive on that hoist. Awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Technically, old school, I didn't have that. Exactly. But this. Yeah, we had this, yeah. And I was able to go a long way with, with this. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm just saying, <laughs> if, if, if you... I know what you're saying, bro. If you like, don't mind. No. I I'm, mean, you know. I'm with you, bro. <sighs> like, I know. That's why, that's why I said old school way or the other one way. Two, nice. Three, nice. Four, nice. Five, nice. Six, come on. Seven, eighteen, nineteen. Ow. Yeah. Double effect. So, yeah. there is. There's a larger benefit to doing this like yeah. this instead yeah. of over there. Yeah. That on a big man like you, in time becomes the thing that starts to close the door of opportunity for the for the for those smaller guys for that are standing up to you yeah. from the rear. Yeah. It is very, very there's a part of me that that if I could just like say, oh, <laughs> give me what you got for like a fucking week. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Cause you got, I mean, damn. Yeah. But here we go. Yeah. To articulate what that is though, is, is something that takes more skill than I think I have. But 
So here, on stage, from the rear, this. Yeah. So one leg back, bop. But the ability to, this here, yeah. this, is, this is where I'm aware. When you, when you kick your leg back, your glute is already supposed to activate, right? Automatic, yeah. But being able to, to have the command to still be able to, Body hamps, to yeah. connect here and, and, to, and to start to, to work in a way, it's, it's different than doing your leg curls. It's different than, than um, doing your, um, even your squatting. It's, it's almost like a, this here, so here we go. At the top, your glute is going to contract, right? Yeah. But getting it down here, there's a twist on, my, on the ball of my foot yeah. that activates. They're talking about the presence of activation on my hamstring. Yeah. Right? And this shit here is everything for me. Yeah, I saw the twist you're doing. Yeah. It's like you're twisting and squeezing at the same time. Now somebody else might 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 just dis, discount dis this as minutia. <laughs> so it's, you know, like what, what the fuck are you talking about? Some gay ass looking exercise. They put it down on the notes. <laughs> but when you put these things together, they become a complex system yeah. that explains how I believe a person with a longer femur bone yeah. is able to cover starting to fill out some of this development detail work. <clears throat> Let's go, big boy. Question. Why does he always have to put in choreography into the workout? <laughs> he said, <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I need to work on my hips more. Because cause I think it's, it's a reflex action, yeah? So you feel in your hip? Your hip is... No, like, it's on its own. Yeah, reflex. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, don't need to go super heavy on this. Yeah. But I usually um, think about think about those like four sets. Yeah. 20, 20, 15, 12, 10. It really wasn't even like, eh. It's like, this is just this activation technically, the last one. Yeah, okay. And you're right, it may feel easier to do on one side yeah. than the other. Yeah. But the thing, I guess, is to, is to certainly fight through that. Seven. Here's the thing, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. This thing here, there's a stretch that I'm able to feel on my quad and my hamstring here. And while my knee is back here like this, yeah. you to flex my glute, right? Yeah. I remember one, some years, some years while getting ready, experiencing my best prep process. Yeah. I remember going through this, you know, Every every yeah. every glute, every leg session. Yeah. Right. And um, other people would dismiss it as being extra. Too much. Right. Yeah. Finish here. Right. 
in this position, I find, I go inside myself, find my glutes here. On this angle? Feel them, yes, from here like this, while I'm down like this. Feel my glutes contract here, okay. right? Because this, right, here. They come up out of it, right, at the, at the top, here. Flex my glutes again. Find my hamstrings, flex my hamstrings here, right? Yeah. Okay, I can step out of it. But every day, that starts to become this system of neurological awareness mm -hmm. that begins to bleed into the better functional use of every other exercise that I start to use yeah. for my hamstrings and my glutes. So by the time I'm squatting, I'm able to activate my hamstring and my glute mm -hmm. in a way that I wasn't able to do before that. Mm -hmm. In time, the overall payoff for me was something that I'll talk to you about right now. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. We got one, we, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <clears throat> One, nice. Two, three, nice. Four, five, these look good. Six, let's go. Seven, yep. Eight, oh. nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Push it. What are, you, what are you feeling? He said. Hamstrings and the glutes. He said, I'm out of here. Yeah. Then we add to that now um, a stiff legged -like deadlift variation that's just really, really focused good on focus, your glute. Yeah. But we kind of need to be able to go right into that from there into a light. Okay, how about the, uh, the, Smith, the Smith machine? This red one here? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so check it. There's. Yeah. So we got. Hip abduction now, right? Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, when we're doing it, so when you're doing, Sorry, yeah. so when you're doing that, right, your glutes become an intermediary, your glutes. Yeah. So the contraction of your glute is what, when your knees come apart, it's your glute that's coming like my hands, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the idea is to, even though we step away from the hip abduction, we come here, and even though our feet are not moving on the floor, yeah. the idea is to still activate your glute and your hamstring, yeah. you know, at the top of this movement. So it's technically a contraction yeah. that's your glute at the bottom of your spine reaching to your hamstrings. Yeah. And as it, as it pulls and contracts, yeah. it's your glute. The contraction starts with your glute into your hamstring and radiates that contraction upward that allows your body to stand directly. But if somebody were to see what you're doing, it would almost look like you're opening your knees, yeah. you know, to do this exercise. Yeah. But you're not. No. You get me? Because the, yeah, yeah. the goal is to, to almost activate your glute, then your hamstring, in an effort to erect your upper body. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. going back and forth between here and there, yeah. three sets, 20 reps, is one of those things that allow me to teach my, 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 my personal awareness yeah. to activate those muscles in that way. Yeah. So now when I'm on stage, I think in time when you're on stage, the benefit is not just pretty movement. The benefit is what starts to become the development in those specific ways that start to, to me, mm. it starts to become development in detail that really starts to put a look together on 
with command of your instrument mm -hmm. that starts to close the door. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. And other that. athletes are very, very thickly dense there. Yeah. Yeah. And even though your physique is pretty, you got a lot of muscle everywhere. When you say, hey, so in these comparisons from the rear, standing straight up, you know, there's a door of opportunity that's offered that you don't want to offer. Yeah. You know? And rather than somebody saying, yo, man, you, 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 need, to get, you need to get bigger, it's not a question of being bigger. You're, you're, you're tremendous. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But filling out these areas in, in, through this way to me, particularly from the rear, is the thing that if it, were, if it were me and I had what you had and I could get a chance to do this shit all over again, Dude, I it's a wrap. Like, that's like, <laughs> you know, because because it's, it's not a question of like like you're resting your shoulders and your your back and your arms needing to get any more tremendous than they are. Mm. You know, it's like just subtle tweaking technically um, in those key areas. You know, yeah. that yeah. would allow you to stand up from the rear and become even like, like different. Yeah. Like, so here we go. All right. Yes. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not a professional sports <laughs> commentator. Who gives a fuck what I say? However, if it were me and I had to do it all over again, I think you're more talented than I. Seven. So a lot of people think about deadlifts yep. in the traditional sense of just picking the weight up from the floor and using their back. I'm actually trying to do an abduction, a hip abduction, with my glutes and my hamstrings. Yep. Let's get it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, here we go. Question, um, splits or regular, which, which because, because so, I felt it more. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, splits. So technically I'm not, yeah. I'm not even thinking about a split as much as I am thinking about. It's contraction. So you, I mean, there's this shit in here. Yeah. So inside of the, so. If you had, if you had a border, yeah, a border down your down. So if you had a uh, hmm. semimembranosus, semitendinosus are the parts of your your hamstring, your leg that are they represent they represent the muscles on your, your hamstring that are like the inside. Oh yeah. The the the. the, the the inner border of your femur. So if this is my femur bone, yeah. and I had two femur bones here, and we yeah. open up, yeah. the, the, the aspect that's more medial, that's yeah, yeah. inside, yeah, yeah. Um, those muscles of your hamstring, that make up your, your, your hamstring, um, that are inside, technically, when you stand up from the rear, they're visible, they're visible from, ah, fuck, I gotta, I'll show you on the diagram, yeah, sure. but yeah. my point is to activate your glute and your hamstring there, with the focus being there. I don't have to use a whole lot of weight to get that. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. In fact, if I'm a if I'm a if I'm a 500 pound deadlifter, chances are when I'm doing this exercise, I'm not even going to come near that. Near that, yeah. Because yeah. to really 20 percent of that is is almost too much, too much in order to be able to still have the command of control on those of flexing those muscles yeah. specifically to get the um the the activation that i'm looking for yeah you get i get you yeah i get right. you this becomes like a a pre 
a pre a pre step two three this becomes a, a step that we're doing to fire the glutes yeah eight nine yeah. because to do this we'll put 10. the right mechanics yeah 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 Yo. So, you got those glute kickbacks? Yeah. Glute kickbacks, hip reduction. Obviously, if you do this exercise by yourself, a lot of times people think they're doing something. Yeah. But for the next phase, and I think where you kind of want to go when you're trying to take your, like, I remember when you're getting ready for the Olympia, it was like, yo, man, I, I, I used to, I had this page yeah. from uh, Flex Magazine that had yeah. an image of Ronnie Coleman from the rear, right? What the butterfly. Whew. Yo, man, never in your life, at least at that stage of my career, had I ever seen, you know, such an elite level of muscular development and conditioning yeah. Um, that even for the most elite in the game, and in, until that point in the continuum of, of competitive bodybuilding experience, you know, what Ronnie Coleman had, you know, at that time in his career and just, just that, that at that time in the sport was something that was just, it was really next, next, next level, right? Yeah. And I think what happened was, on the, at the top of the food chain, when you looked up and saw that, that really went a long way in like, at least for those athletes that were aspiring to develop and one day come into their best. To their best, yeah. That served as an example, you know, of what upper excellence, what upper excellence looked like, you know? Mm -hmm. And even though at that time in my development, I understood that the, my quest could not be to have what Ronnie that. had exactly. I couldn't be Ronnie, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if I use that though as at least a point of reference, that served me well in like trying to find out and develop for myself what will become a really good standard for me. Mm -hmm. um, so in my mind, in my notes that I used to journal with in that time, just call it that, it's this lights out effect. So I'm saying this to say, to share with you, yeah. that that image kept me up at night. There were times when I got ready wow. and I had the shrine put together on top of my, um, uh, on my step mill. I had a step mill in my living room. I had a little apartment in Brooklyn, <laughs> yeah. but I had a step mill. I didn't have a couch, but I had a fucking step mill. Oh, wow. Right? And I'm saying this to say that I would get up, I had the shrine on top of my step mill, and I'd walk it, walk on the step mill and look. So I'm saying this to identify that I later called this thing lights out, and I felt like for me, what I needed to do 
that in time became the way to build more dense tissue in that area. Like, you'll see examples of guys that, a lot of times people see development in their glute and it'll just take for granted that, oh, well, that guy has low body fat, low exactly. subcutaneous yeah. water, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and the truth is, to, to be actually what a physique at your level and certainly at that level, what it had, what you had to have was a lot of development. Dense yeah. tissue, right? Yep, Dense tissue lot. that becomes the product of work. Yep. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So there's sometimes that people will deadlift or they'll, they'll, they'll bench heavy. They'll do a lot of the traditional muscle building exercises yeah. to build muscle density in their chest and their arms and they say, but what a lot of people, it, when I was coming up, had to get an understanding of was in order to get detail like that, separation like that, you couldn't just, you know, <laughs> take a water pill uh, no, and not, yeah. all of a sudden one day, once you piss all the water out, it comes. it's oh. going to be there. No. You can't just say, okay, well, I'm going to diet away all the body fat, strip away the subcutaneous water, and then guess what? That is going to be there. It's not. It's not. What will happen though, what you needed to do was develop the muscle, dense tissue, yeah. by doing very specific exercises, yeah. right? Yeah. That in time, when you built enough dense muscle tissue there, then when you restrict the subcutaneous yeah. fat, and subcutaneous yeah. water, there you go. Now, I know I don't have to tell you that, but for me, I didn't have thick glutes to begin with. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of people talk about genetics and mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. Most people need to be sucking dick instead of talking about genetics. Why? Because they, they, they're talking nonsense. They're talking shit. Yeah, you know? true. Yeah, true, true. If yeah. you have genetics enough to get started, I believe, then you can always make improvements. Yeah. You know? So for me, at this stage of my career, what I had to do was I had to, I had to teach myself how to develop tissue in that specific area. So I had there to is. do glute specific exercises that even though a lot of times the right thinking mechanics were not naturally offered to me. Offered to you, yeah, true. I had to learn how to think and troubleshoot my way through. So in order to activate my glute, I learned that it didn't, it didn't start with my hamstring, it didn't start with stiff legged deadlifts, it didn't start with walking lunges, it didn't start yeah. with even heavy squats. Yeah. Because without the right awareness and how to use my instrument, yeah, I wouldn't know how to activate them enough True. To, to get the benefit of squatting heavier True. or deadlifting heavier. Yeah. The thing that made, that bridged the, that bridged the gap for me was learning how to do the hip abduction. And using the hip abduction, not as an exercise that I just did, you know, one or, one or three sets, one or three sets and three. it's in my program and, and I did the, them. Yeah. No, I had to use that hip abduction to help me learn how to fire my glute, how to activate my glute, how to activate my glute, and then when I would do a deadlift, or when I would do a step up, step or when up. I would do a lunge, yeah. when I would learn how to do a walking lunge, or by continuing to focus on, 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 on getting these mechanics and learning how to activate my glute, activate my glute, it became the doorway to allow me to more effectively use even that deadlift that we just did, we just, yeah, we we just, just did went through right yeah. now. Um, and I'm convinced that without doing that first and doing it enough, well, I was able to- It won't work. Yeah, because yeah. you can very easily do that. Yeah. You can do a deadlift yeah. or a variation of the deadlift and you won't know how to tweak it enough yeah. for you, in other words, to customize the exercise for you so that you can activate your glute and force your glute to reap the benefit mm -hmm. of over time becoming thicker. Thick you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, to me, those things, things when I thought about how I could try to improve my game mm -hmm. to be better from the rear. Back then you had a, an image of Dorian yeah. and Nasser at the Olympia, the year that Nasser just like Destroyed. from the front, from the side, this Destroyed. dude was like yeah. crazy. Yeah. But then from the rear, uh, uh, Dorian. And specifically from the spinal erectors to the floor. To the floor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now Nasser had amazing calves. He had a, he had legs that were ungodly, yeah. hamstring, but what was going on in the glutes and the spinal erectors were yeah. like, in time, they became like the thing at that time in the, in, in the sport where it was like, yo man, 
how do you develop how that? How do you do that? You know, yeah. <laughs> how do you get that developed, yeah. dry, and conditioned? Um, some people say it's a PED game, PED but it's game not that. Nice. It's more than that. You it's get work. what I'm saying? It's work. It's hard work. Um, so I'm sharing this with you because I thought it was, it was very significant to me. Yeah. So what happened was I never saw that as like, oh, I had to do. Now, you may not. I'm looking at your mechanics and everything. Just looking at how you, you are obviously well beyond where I was yeah. when I had to walk through putting this, this, this routine together for myself yeah. to address how do I make my glutes thick and separated enough to stand next to quads that I could make even more conditioned and separated mm -hmm. and create a physique that would be ultimately my way of saying how I could advance in my career. Yeah. You are well on your way beyond that. If it were if it were me though, and I had what you got, <laughs> man, I feel like I would I would kind of I would kind of sit there in spades because it's 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 that place. It's 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 from the rear, from the floor to the waist, spinal rectus, that really starts to say a lot of things. I mean, now technically, somebody can say, well, a person can improve their lats, their their lower lats. You have such a beautiful taper. You know, you're, you're, you're a shape king yeah. on top of being a mass monster. Yeah. Technically, you know, guys like you 40, 40 years ago were like a dream. You that know, dream. people would talk about it in, in yeah. theory. Yeah. Could you imagine a guy with the condition of the blade? Of the, you know, and that, and that, and that, you know put, put, I'll put together. <laughs> put together with, with someone with the, with the proportions of a flex wheeler, yeah. you know. Like someone said, that uh, uh, and, and, and Andrew is, if Ronnie Coleman had a baby with Flex Wheeler and then one of them cheated with Kai Green, you will have Andrew. <laughs> Man. I'm like... I don't even belong in that equation, dude, at all. That's like, <laughs> sounds rather nasty. But... Uh, <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but certainly, oh, certainly, Jesus. brother, you have you have, you have something that is that is the sport. It speaks to the sports credit that you are there. Yeah, you know, and to have this opportunity right now is is, is, is an honor for me. So let's no, let's bro. get this. Come on, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Look who's talking. It's it's. it's Bro, I'm the one who's supposed to be like saying things that because one, I'm a work in progress. But, but, but like you said, I'm, I'm working on the knowledge which you guys drafted because you was wor wor working on processing or on building the knowledge that will help you to do this. But now I'm working on the knowledge you have already done. Yeah. That's it, see? So, hey man, it's, for me it's, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor and privilege to learn these basic things that I need, not I want, I need it, like need it, like on this and that, standing here, like I'm, I'm shaking already, but, but you know, I, I just have to like put myself together. But the, the effect of today's like workout is not just the movement, but the the intellectual part too, the guidance, the direction, the instructions, everything is like, it's working together. It's like putting the whole dot together in the puzzle. You know what I mean? So, yeah. The thing somebody would say, that no one can say that you need more size anywhere. Yeah. You know, yeah. What, they, what they could say though is, damn, if he just puts it together, man, that year he brings it together, technically, yeah. is what, you know, I, I know you as the athlete in question is, is working for that yeah. and, and, you know, working to produce that. But what the fan, the enthusiast at home, mm -hmm. you know, is quietly saying, like, that year, man, I, I want to be there. I want to be in that number. I want to see it when, it, when, it, when, it, when, when you do. Um, I remember back when <laughs> we didn't see you coming. <laughs> oh, I remember seeing it. Uh, <laughs> And you came, you came out to Florida. <laughs> yeah, I came out to Florida. And I was like, oh, shit. You know, wait yeah. a minute. Yeah. And I told him I'll be there. He, uh, he thought I was, like, joking. And for me, if I want something, 
hey man, I'll go get it. And the, the, the thing I'm more interested in is knowledge. What you should be. Yeah. What you should be. Yeah, it's knowledge. I remember when you when you when you can I'd seen you on Instagram, but yeah. I, I mean I didn't, you know, it's it's always like these, you know, yeah. people always look amazing by themselves. Yeah. Just, you know, and it's, yeah, yeah. it is what it is. It's Instagram. Yeah. You know. But then I remember being in Florida and then I didn't I didn't, I didn't quite get it. I stopped at the gas station one moment. Exactly. Yeah, you know, I was like, exactly. Oh. I told him, bro, I'm heading to the gym. Uh, you coming there. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I mean <laughs> um, didn't it's funny it's a gas station yeah didn't <laughs> didn't see it didn't didn't understand i mean i i, I didn't know fast forward we did come to the we, we did uh came to the gym back together yeah, yeah, yeah we, we did, did back actually. back back together he uh yeah i don't want to be embarrassed so i'm not even going to say who's doing <laughs> no but, but like he put us through the ringer, me, him, blessing, and Quinton. No, 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 no. I remember nah, this, this dude was strong as hell. He was young, and you know, here's the thing. Yeah, you meet a lot of people. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And that's one of the things. Like now, you, you, you know, you're you're training. You're you're hopeful. You're working hard. You're yeah. making. You're hopeful that you're making all the right decisions that you can make yeah. with with the, with the development of your career, your ability to see uh, the other business success on the other side of this thing. Yeah. You you don't want to be no one. No athlete in that position wants to be the dumb athlete yeah, that missed their opportunity. Yeah. You know. So yeah. because you're hungry and because this is you know now is the time and you don't want to leave anything any stone left unturned. Yeah. But then at the same time. There's so many people that are coming to you, so many people that are talking to you, so many people that are waste your time. That at the same time, how do you determine? How do you keep yourself and and save your energy, save your energy so yeah. that you can have more of it available to you to use it when you need it, when most, you need it most to yeah. be effective as you want to be? Yeah. So, you know, it, it's like a lot of people you meet in the game and they're saying they're coming up, they want to do what they want to do, and then you see 15 years go by, you never see them materialize. Yeah, you never see them. Yeah, like, well, see who them. is that guy? I don't even know. Okay, <laughs> whatever. People have forgotten about him long before he even existed. Yeah. And then now, you know, you meet someone and they, they, they you know, like, God damn, who is this dude? <laughs> like, we trained that day, and yeah, you were, it, it was like a rare blend of a lot of stuff. But then yeah. again, there's a whole lot of people that, you know, people, you yeah. would expect over the years that, yeah, I remember that guy that I knew that I really oh. thought was, and I didn't know, so you don't know. You just, you, you, you say something encouraging and keep it moving, you know. But then fast forward, shit, the next, the next time the I next heard year. anything. The next year. Like, dude was like, <laughs> bang, oh shit, that's that guy. That's yeah, like, like <laughs> hey, okay. And just before I could fucking forget, then it was like, boom, that's that guy again. <laughs> like, wait a minute, what's going on? And, oh, snap, it's, I guess this is, and it's through your actions that you identify yourself to be the yeah. real deal. Yeah. And, yeah. of course, it's exciting to see, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, I have to stand corrected. It's like, <laughs> all right, yo, so definitely get that, definitely get that, 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 that information, because yeah. the information is everything. But then there's so much information sometimes it'd be like too much. Um, like now, we talking a lot, bro. Yeah. I know you was trying to get that rest up. No, 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 no. I, I'm just, I'm, like I said, I like feeding on knowledge and information. So it's a good thing because I don't know when I'll see you again to get this. You know what I mean? It might be over there in Florida or someplace else. But for now, I have to grab, grab onto the opportunity and get everything I need. And use it as a, as, a, as a tool to work and process. Do you do step ups? No, but I'll, I'll start like doing it. Yo, man. Yeah, you told me already. And I said, yeah, I'll put it in. Yo, man. Yeah. Here, let's do this. Yeah. Can, 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 yeah. can we do some step ups? Sure. Right? Of course. Um, of course, no problem. In my mind, I have like all this shit I would want to do all we could. You'd almost need like a week to try to, you yeah. know. But. I did it technically, you know, there's a lot of things you probably don't even end up doing justice mm -hmm. to, the, to the theory of, because what we, those three movements that we just did, I would do as a chain, a superset, you know, oh. a giant set, giant set you know. Yeah. Um, I, I come from a time and a place in the gym, we, we didn't have a whole lot of elaborate shit. You had like that, you know, you yeah. had, now you got 
15 different leg curl machines. Lots you know, of them, yeah. you just you showed me a hoist, <laughs> a hoist. <laughs> We're this, like swinging. This, this, this <laughs> it's like thing. a spaceship. How you doing, bro? You What's up, big boy? Yeah, yeah. Let me yeah, see yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, a spaceship. <laughs> all right. Traditionally, yeah. what I'd want to, and I'm, I, I, I know this shit happened for truth, man. I can't wait to, <laughs> I can't wait to get. Uh, Step ups, yeah. that hip abduction, yeah. right? A lot of people call it hip abduction, but it's not. I mean, I never. Th I saw it as a, 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 glute, a glute activation exercise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, I don't think there's any more glute activation you could possibly. I don't want to say not more than you can now, because this this piece over here. Uh -huh. So this is his routine, man. I swear to God. So this is <laughs> this is this is the hip act, the the, 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 the glute activation exercise yeah. here. Yeah. Step ups, right? Yeah. But stepping up, you mean a frog? Those those kind of frogs that chicks yeah, do? You know, like the hip thrust, but similar like on the floor, but but with like a like like a lighter weight, so that you can have that that depression more to have that squeeze. Decreasing your butt cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no. no. <laughs> but, uh, you can have that squeeze like all the way, squeeze and then you pop. Cause on the floor is just like tap and pop. You know what I mean? Oh, so you're saying a bigger range of motion because yes, you exactly. have... Yeah, ah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. By using the bend, you can have a more depth, like more depth in, and then you pop, and then you have like a double squeeze. Shit. Yeah. Brother, if you're already doing that, yeah. then I'm going to back the fuck up. Because <laughs> I, I, I might be talking shit. You know no, what I mean? No, no, no. I'm just looking about... You, you, you ever like, have somebody come in and be like, yo, man, you, if I were you, I'd do this. And like, yeah, I've already been doing that. And it's like... Oh, well, let me just shut the fuck up then, because maybe I don't know what to talk No, no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, because as you said, it's been in a process that, okay, how about if I put on extra? You know what I mean? Yeah. Thinking like that is how you got to where you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Challenging yourself, yeah. you know, taking it a step further. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So by all means, I would, I would not want to discourage that. You yeah. know, and I, I think you're absolutely on to something great when you say what you just said. Um, I guess the best thing I would want to say to you right now mm -hmm. is to continue to think in those directions because that is where that hip abduction is not, somebody would probably discourage you and say that's overtraining. You yep, know what I mean? Know. Yeah. You know, that's too many reps. That's too much volume. That's too much. That's too much. You're going to lose muscle. You're going to lose size by doing that. I've learned that that wasn't the case. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. If anything, that becomes the a lot of times that is the defining line that separates the people that are gonna ha have to hang out at mediocrity yeah. and those people that are able to go beyond. beyond. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it rests right in the idea of who's willing to work, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes when people say, ah, oh, well, that's too much, they're really saying, I'm not willing to work, to work that hard, you know what I mean? And if you are able to say, yes, I am, this, this means that much to me. I'll do that and break no sweat about it, mm -hmm. you know? Vino, what's up, brother? Good doing, morning. Bro? Anise! How you good? Yes. How are you, bro? How you, you good, bro? too? Very good, bro. Awesome, good. awesome, awesome, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's ultimately why you're able to get where you are. <laughs> and those of you who are like me are standing where I am looking at you going, oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> you're a bad motherfucker. I ain't going to hold you up. Um, you're going to get out of here. But, yeah. Those step ups with that abduction. Sometimes people say, "Yo, man, I thought we were gonna train legs today." But if we were doing that and they saw us do it, they'd say, "Okay, they're training legs." They're training legs. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't call that a leg session. It's not. It's not. It's not legs. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's another thing. As you continue to aspire up, and you you're, you're able to to do more because you want to improve. What happens is people will see you while you're doing more and saying to themselves, well, what you're doing is too much. It's too much. But, but when, when they see you achieve, they go, well, that's why he is where he is, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. And the haters will say, oh, yeah, but I could have that too if I just did the other stuff. It's like... Or oh, take this other stuff he's taking. Right. Yeah, I know. I know. I've been there. I've been there. I know. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. Long, too much, lot. Yeah. And fast forward... You know, back then when you had guys like Dexter Jackson, they were saying, oh, 45 minutes, I'm in and I'm out. I'm like, okay. A lot of people kind of, they want that 45 minutes. want minute. that 45 You know, 
And then if you're talking about a situation where filming and time is money, people say, well, shit, I'd, I'd much rather, it's more financially economical to, to film that guy for 45 minutes than to film this guy. I don't okay. even know. He comes late, and then it's going to be like <laughs> fucking three hours worth of shit. Go, Fuck this guy. He's got to eat every two. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that yeah, guy. Yeah. You know, and it, yeah, so saying that to say to you, yeah, a uh, lot to kind of try to. One day, I really would like to get a chance to do legs with you. Right. And do this shit, right? But, uh. I'll come find you. <laughs> he said, I'll find you. I mean, I'll come find you, bro. You, you, you're on your way to do your own thing, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm impressed. You mean, I appreciate being to have this no, training session no, opportunity bro. with I'm you today. The one who should be appreciated, bro. You've we got, need to do something you've to got do no, more justice to it. Bro. Yeah, you've got no idea. Like, this is. Mm, this is. Uh, I never pay attention. I, I never honor. Or even pay like respect or even like welcome such invitation mm. to people. But only a very few selected, few selected people. My girlfriend few saw your selected. posing routine at the <laughs> at, at, at the at the oldest year. You know. <laughs> listen, bro, I told him. <laughs> I told him. Listen, like two days Wednesday. I switched off my routine from Dirty Di Diana to the uh, to the one I did to the uh, Loic uh, bending lights. Wednesday, two days before the pre-judging. Why? Because I couldn't I couldn't get this this ah. stuff yeah, from the back ah. from the back. I was so <laughs> pissed off with myself. I'm like, fuck this. Just one move. Just this. Just. Just this one. I couldn't get that move. I'm like, Ugh! <laughs> I did it, but my glutes was washed, and I can only have my lower back, but I couldn't have the the thickness here. So I'm like, he said the thickness, it has to yeah. be complete, else it wouldn't have that effect, you know. So I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> Two days. Two, Two days. days. Man, I'm like, fuck it. I had to stop. <laughs> At one point, because I was, I was, I was at the, oh, I was, I was, I was actually showing it, showing it, you know, on my phone, FaceTime, yeah. right? Yeah. And at one point, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm showing, I'm like, yeah, you know, and she's watching, and she's, and then I realized what the fuck I'm doing, and I'm like, wait, hold on. I had to look back at her, and I look at the phone, and she's, like, she, like, she was, so she was all in it, like, oh, right, wait, wait, wait. Do we have a problem? Is everything okay? I don't well, know. No, I'm, but, I'm, everything's okay. But some people said it was a seduction uh, 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 move. I'm like, I didn't even practice. It just came to my head. I just yeah. did like one move, two move, and that's it. I wanted to get, the, I was so pissed off. Because my plan was, I'll walk on stage, I'll look at Kai, I'll be like, hey, up, hey, like, hey, what's up, hey, you want a piece of uh, this? And then I'll, then I'll probably like, you. you you watch me now, and I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, well, you have no idea when you're trying to do that, and you can't get that. 50% isn't good enough, you know? You just... That right. killed me. Well, your 50% is, is like, <laughs> better than a lot of our 130%, oh, if that's even possible. So, you know, you got to imagine that you're in a, yeah. you're in a great But definitely, space. I'll do that. I'll do that song. I'll get it right. It's funny. I'll get it right. Because it it, it, it it ain't over. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's not over. But it, it dude, you, technically, you shut that down <laughs> during that. There's <laughs> nobody that came after that that was yeah. going to like, yeah. you know. And technically, there's also something to be said about you being in a, in a, in a place and space for a unique, a unique, there's, there's nobody that can do what you're doing, yeah. what you have the ability to do right now. And the truth is, technically, See, it's just a lot of times too when we're the athlete and we're hungry, it's like we don't. Sometimes it's like you're scared to look up and try to do something. It's like I gotta just do this. I gotta win. And it's like you know, um, I know at least for me it was very hard to do that. But but then technically when I got a chance to like, once yeah, and it was like okay, well let me do this. Let me do that. You, because nobody's gonna do this at, at this level. Yeah. Like you can do this, and if you were. If you just put little things in the, uh, yeah, then, then your posing, your performance stuff would become the thing. Yeah. That it's already your performance right now. Yeah. First of all, just real talk. Hmm. 
the baddest motherfucker in this game mm. at the pro level doing this, mm. at the time that he was at the pro level doing it, was Flex Wheeler. Yeah. No, no, no. Hands down. Down, yeah, was Flex. He was doing shit that technically, yeah. you know, if Sean Ray was amazing, there's a lot of guys that over the years, Bob Paris, Francis, but five people that people, people would say were like great poles, Vince Taylor. Dude, when you talk about from the technical, professional, and even the performance aspect performance, of it, yeah. yo man, there's at least there's at least three poles routines Flex Wheeler did at the Olympia at the, at the time that he was killing it that are untouchable. Yeah, untouchable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Untouchable. When you just think about, I mean, it wasn't, sometimes people can dance and they're too dancing. Too dancing. You know, yeah. sometimes people pose and they're just too, too you know, posy. This dude was the perfect blend. Sometimes people do martial arts and they, they it looks too much like a martial arts movie. Yeah. You know, this dude was the perfect blend. There's at least three routines. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to look at them and send it to you. There's at least three. So, brother, and here's the thing. There's a lot of guys that, that look great, you know, can put muscle on, can do, but can't. They don't move. have, and they, they can't can move. at all. Can't and move. even if they try, they will look terrible. You, if I was you, I'd be doing throwbacks to, like, something that takes something that, that you're, like, you're, like, the best of a, of a, of a, of a, a flex wheeler. With the added and Kai Green together. Not nah, well. <laughs> He's talking about Flex Flex Wheeler, but what he don't know was, okay, talk about evolution. Yeah, he talk about Flex Wheeler. Yeah, and then after it took a while, and then he came along, and then it took a while, and then I think I came along. Yo, so you see, this that I don't I don't know. There was a year Ronnie Coleman was doing a pepper seed at the Olympia. Yeah, yeah, and people laughed. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, re I, remember. I remember there was a guy named remember. Joe, Joe Armano that was doing like the, the commentation on the on, on video. And it's like, mm -hmm. you hear Joe Armano, like, you know, he was clowning Ronnie Coleman back. This is also too back when Ronnie Coleman was placing like 12th and 12th, 13th yeah. at yeah. the Olympia. Yeah. And they never saw him as like going to come in there and actually, you know, killing it, growing yeah. to what he became. Yeah. So there was a time we were clowning him at the Olympia. He's doing a, but when he was doing the pepper seed, what he showed you though was like, how this guy, I saw how this guy was able to see he was doing a glute activation exercise and he was able to see for himself how this glute activation exercise, technically when you do it, you speed working. it up fast yeah. enough, it's a dance, it's something that somebody would identify as a dance move, mm -hmm. but really what he was doing was he was making the connection between activating his glute and his hamstring and finding how to put, correctly position his foot on stage to, to begin a pose. To begin a pose, And it, yeah. that was brilliant. But if you had a guy like Joe Armano actually doing the, 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 the sports commentation at that time, yeah. who didn't understand that, he would just clown him yeah. as yeah. if he was doing some, some stupid homoerotic dumb thing yeah. to do on yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true talk. True. Which is something that's wrong, you know. But yeah, that, all that I said, if it was me and I had to do, yo, <laughs> this guy, I'm telling you, you right now, dude, I'd have like, damn, I don't know. I'm still a walk in progress, so. You yeah. are. Yeah. You are. In progress. Dude, Tony Freeman was, he titled himself the executioner, right? Mm. Now, this, now, Tony Freeman had also, he had, he had done some dancing prior to that. Yeah. He's a yeah. male exotic entertainer. Yeah. So he understood the whole mystique about, yo, I put this hood on, I put on, a, put on some sunglasses mm. or whatever, and I'm going to just stand here and I'm going to hurt these hoes all day. Yeah. Right? Um, to the fan and enthusiast at home, all they want to see is the performance. The performance, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 in, within that fandom, there are people that are that are bodybuilding enthusiasts, but then there are also people that just want to see a great show. They see an MMA fight, you know, and if a guy came to the ring with a costume on and just and gave you the attitude and the yeah. persona, like mm -hmm. yo, that is it for me. If you're in a great place where you are, you're able to bring your your, your athlete game to the stage. Yeah. But then if you add it, just that. Little bit touch. That I'm telling you, there's three moves that I would that I would do in my posing routine now. If I had to do all over again, that would be like that would be yeah. like signatures, and then any regardless of whatever music you use or whatever, <laughs> when you do that move, it's almost like in, in wrestling, almost like like a John Cena, you know. Yeah, he has or, his, his, his you yeah, know, signature it's, move. Yeah, and 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 do that's that's the stuff that's about marketability. It's almost it's why I grew my hair. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's there's gonna come a time where that pretty ass hairline son is gonna go back. Yeah, of course, bro. Yo, my yeah. hairline went further and further back every year until <laughs> I, I, it, it's, it's, 
I said, I don't even have a hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, it's your boy Kizzy K with the AKA. I'm not Minakai. I'm talking about being King Kai, but right now we're talking about a king up in this place, the king of this here spot, the king of the castle. I mean, I, I don't even know y'all. I'm just talking about Andrew Jack. There's a lot going on here. I'm just a guest here. Oh, stop playing, man. It's my, home, it's my home by the same yeah. time I'm just a guest. I'm still a oh, guest. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, we got a good thing going on here. I got a chance to do a little bit of training with the king today. We did a, a little bit of... Gloats. A little bit of... You, you call it gloats? And maybe? hamstrings. Hamstrings, gloats. All right, yeah. Yeah, we, we told y'all legs, so... I feel I got a little bit of that, but we didn't get a chance to squat, we didn't get a chance to leg press, we didn't get a chance to do no walking lunges. Man, we still got some work to do, bro. Lots of work to do. Man, so we're gonna have to do this again. Yes, sir. All right, but on that note, we just wanted to make, you, make sure that we spoke to you guys, let you know, get a bird's eye view of what's going on. In this case, over my shoulder, as we look up, no, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we had a great time training with the king. Brothers, is there anything you want to say to anybody out there that's getting a chance to tune into us for the first time? <laughs> Keep locked on on this channel. Oh shit. Stay updated. I like that. Consistent post upload. Oh. Keep you guys well educated, informed, knowledgeable. Oh snap. Just follow and you, you won't drift from your path to success. Oh, hey, 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 there's a lot you just said, brother. That's like, I, I, can I read that somewhere? <laughs> Man, man, you should do an ebook on the caption. <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. That's what's up. All right, Minikai, make sure you take notes. On that note, <laughs> we had Venus One Gym. We got a chance to do some really awesome training today. I'm gonna yeah. put this in my notebook, man. One of those things in my bucket list. I don't believe in bucket lists. You believe in bucket lists? No. No? Just work together. Just work together. Get yeah. it done. Yeah. That's yeah. what I, I like that. Yeah. All right, man, we're gonna put this to rest. We're gonna make sure we do this again. Yes, sir. And if you just tuning in at home, make sure you stay tuned because we're going to do something else. Yeah. Real soon. 100% for sure. Right. I'm still in school. School hasn't graduated for me yet. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's, see, that's what's up, too, because I, I want to be in school, too. <laughs> and I, I, I hope to learn. I, I, learning is good and reading is fundamental and all that other good stuff. So <laughs> let's yeah. keep it going. And if you're just tuning in, we are signing off. Your boy K with the AKA. Mr. Getting It Done with none other than the King, Andrew Jacked. Yes, sir. Till next time, let's keep it positive. Let's keep encouraging each other. We're out of here. Peace. Yes. Subscribe. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it.